welcome to another super exciting edition of C4. Once again, we're joined by the chump himself, Stuart Wiggin. Look at my t-shirt, Stuart. Woo! Look away. First story, please. Remin University in Chinese. People's University. Hot girl. What's going on? Well, a beautiful girl was put on the homepage of Remin University's website and uh, it had so many visits it crashed the server. Should we have a look at some of the pictures of her? Let's check her out. Oh, ring that ding ding! She's alright. I, I probably would have crashed the server. What, with this? It looks like a dog with a scroll, idiot. Anyway, what about the other universities? What have they been doing to get people to come online? Well, you'd assume if Remin University has a, a beautiful girl on their homepage... Ring a ding ding! Yes, she's all right. Uh, the other universities must have, so let's have a look. So this is Beihang University. What an awfully nice building. Not much to see there, is there? Ring a ding don't. And this is the prestigious Peking University. Are they nicking that bicycle? Nah, just fixing the tyre. Whatever. This is Shanghai Jiao Tong University's webpage. But I don't see any ladies! There's one. This is Zhejiang University, where everyone seems to be uh, graduating. Yeah, there's a nice little girl in the corner. Have a look. She looks okay. Ah, Tsinghua University. Apparently the university where you can find old father time himself. And finally, Fudan University where apparently foreigners cannot do Tai Chi. Let's single out the ones who can't quite copy what the teacher's doing. You know what? If those universities really want to do something cool and promote themselves to students everywhere, they should do something like this. Hadouken! <laughs> Perhaps even CRI can use that as a recruiting tool. And this place will be full of talented people. Next story, please. Mermaids! Now, before you start, Stuart Wiggins, there was a wonderful film called Splash with Daryl Hannah in 1984, which also starred Tom Hanks. I enjoyed it quite a lot. What's the story here, Stuart? Well, obviously you know that the graduate job market is pretty tight at the moment. And uh, depending on which story you read, either Wuhan Sea World or Donghu Ocean Aquarium are looking for mermaids. Really? Mermen? Oh! And they get paid 6,000 RMB per month, which doesn't sound very much, but it's quite a lot for a new graduate job in China, and they've already had over 20 people apply already. Well, don't forget, they have to dress like idiots, don't they? Yeah. Like you, Stuart Wiggin, look at you! You look like an idiot, unlike me! Look at my clothes! Look at my clothes! Stuart Wiggin, look at my clothes! I also actually worked as a farmer once. Check it out. <laughs> That looked like fun. Would you rather be a mermaid or a farmer? Neither! I want to be a merman! Next story, please. Luxury brands! Look at my clothes! What's going on, Stuart? Well, luxury brands are pretty popular in China, and the World Luxury Index recently made a report entitled The Most Sought After Luxury Brands in China. Let me stop you there, Stuart, because I need to know what was the number one luxury brand? Number one, what was it? Well, if you're talking about cars, which account for 53.5% of the luxury industry, it's this. Stuart, I need to know what's number two? BMW. Stuart, I need to know what's number three? Alexis. Stuart, I need to know what's number four? Mercedes. Stuart, I need to know what's number five? Porsche. Stuart, I need to know what's number six? Lamborghini. Stuart, I need to know what is number seven? Volvo. Volvo? Yeah, Volvo. But the, uh, the most popular fashion label is Chanel. Chanel, I know Chanel. And the second most popular is Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton! I tell you what, let's go round the office at CRI, Intelligent People, and find out if they can say the word Chanel. 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 Well, that seemed very easy. Everyone passed. You know, it's obviously very famous. Do you think they know uh, the second most famous brand in China, Louis Vuitton? Try. <laughs> Well done. Next story, please. Crash! Bang! Wallop! What's going on? This is a story of a Mercedes and a BMW at a crossroads, and they had a bit of a, a bash-up. Oh no! Who was driving them? Well, 
In one of the cars was the father, and in the other car was his son. Oh, that's absolute madness. Should we check out the carnage? Carnage. Carnage. Yeah. Carnage. Yeah, get it? Yeah, I, I, yeah, get it. Carnage. Yeah. Anyway, which car was the most luxurious, according to this uh, report? Well, in China, according to the World Luxury Index that's report, the, the most luxurious was the BMW. Number two. Number two. Yeah? Yeah, and the, and the Mercedes is number four on the list. Number four, okay. Well, Stuart, I have a rough idea what started this fight because I found a video. Do you want to see it? Go on then. Video! <laughs> So that was, that was the father and son who got involved in that car crash. Anyway, let's wrap it up now. Stuart, if you want to show people the Wayboard dress, perfectly done. If you want to write in an email, that is down below. And we'll see you again next week for more. Look at my clothes, C4. Bye for now. Woo! most popular is Chanel. Ch Chanel. And the second most popular is Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton! <laughs> Don't do it so loud. Okay. Stuart, I need to know what's number two! Stuart, I need to know! Stuart, I need to- Stuart, I need- Stuart! Stuart! No, Stuart! No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I dress cool. Look at my clothes! Look at my clothes! <laughs> Pretty.